Is the BTR3K a sound investment for the on-the-go audiophile looking for a true wireless amp DAC solution? Does it make a good desktop amp DAC? How does it compare with the Dragonfly Red sound-wise? Is it powerful enough to drive most headphones? All these answers and more coming up. Greetings comrades, Stuart Charles here, HomestudioBasics.com, helping you make sound decisions leading to a beautiful audio experience that will make you fall in love with music all over again. So, before we get started, all links to these products as well as any articles related will be down below in the description box. Check out my gear recommendations as well for most of my top picks all in one place. If you do purchase through one of my Drop or Amazon links, I will get a small kickback depending on where you live. Purchasing through my links is a great way to thank me for helping you make a sound decision. There are many other different ways that you can help support the blog and channel down below as well. Check out my recently updated portfolio website and store for some goodies. The Kickback and Relax Homie t-shirt is live! 15% off your first order! What are you waiting for? Oh yeah! As always, your continued support means the world to me, so thank you. Now let's get into the file BCR3K and find out what it's all about. Oh yeah! We'll start with build and features. This wireless Bluetooth DAC is a little bit longer and larger than the fan favorite Dragonfly Red, but has a glossy finish that will leave more fingerprints than a dumb criminal at a murder scene. On the front, there's a 3.5mm and balanced 2.5mm jack for your headphones, and on the side we've got a power button, volume buttons, and a mic button for calls if you need to make a ransom handoff. Dude here. On the top, there's a USB-C charging port, which you can also just plug into your laptop and listen to music with. More on that later. Just hold the top button to power the BT3K on. It will cycle red and blue to indicate it's waiting to pair. Go into your phone settings and press search. It will show up as File BTR3K. We're done! Now we're ready for la musica! Anytime the device has been completely disconnected, i.e. your phone is off, etc., it will flash blue twice every two seconds. Just hold the second button from the top to re-enter pairing mode. When you plug it into your laptop, it will flash blue twice every two seconds and land on red for two seconds. Now just look for it in your sound panel, select it, and play a track. It will then turn white. If you pause the track, it will resume the blue-red cycle after about 45 seconds to a minute. Play the song again to go back to white. I'm not going to get into the rest of the technical mumbo-jumbo. Just read the manual, homie! It's really simple and straightforward. You can take calls with this thing, and it can pair to two separate devices at one time. Say what? Yeah, that's right, you heard me correctly. The BTR3K is super convenient for on-the-go homies as well. You guys know me, I mostly listen to music at my desktop or when I'm at the Gaim. Completely wireless with Bluetooth. Gaim? What's a Gaim? I personally hate carrying around a phone in a DAC and pretty much never do. The BTR3K is a product that I would absolutely carry around with me, and I do when I'm driving at night. Oh, <laughs> a Gaim. It even comes with a clear plastic belt clip. Just put the DAC inside the clips holder and attach it somewhere you know it won't fall off. I attach it sideways to my belt loop and that seems to work really well when I'm sitting in my car seat. Originally I tried to attach it vertically to my pants, but it kept popping out because I'm kind of fat. But only when sitting down. Can't you tell? Uh-uh. Whew. I thought maybe I looked a little different. No, you look just the same, only fat. <laughs> Aside from all that silliness, the BT... <laughs> Aside from all that silliness, the BTR3K supports your standard codex. For SBC, a blue light pulsates when listening to music. For AAC, cyan. For APTX or APTXLL, purple, as in the case of my phone. For APTX HD, yellow. And for LDAC, white. But who cares about all that nonsense? How does it sound? How does it sound? The sound of the BTR3K is fairly neutral to my ears, but does have a touch of warmth. It mostly does sound about the same as a dragonfly, but you'll notice the fly is a bit more open and cool sounding. And that's what we're gonna be. We're gonna be cool. By and large, the BTR3K bears many of the same similarities as its older brothers, the E10K, the K3, and the K5 Pro. Just steady, solid, great sound. Detailed, crisp, lively, and clean. The vocals on the Dragonfly Red seem to be a bit more prominent than they are on the BTR. They're pushed slightly more forward. This is still a very minor discrepancy, and may be my imagination. Still, I find the sound of the BTR uncomfortably close to being just as good sound-wise to the Dragonfly Red. If I'm being honest, it pretty much is. 
There's nothing about the more expensive fly that I would say is better than the cheaper Fio. In fact, the BTR3K has quite a lot going for it. It's small, compact, and lightweight. You can carry it anywhere. You don't need an adapter for your phone should you want to pair it on the go. If you have a phone with aptX HD or any other superior codec, it's quite close to having hi-fi, audio file quality sound in your pocket. It can be used with your laptop, which is my preferred method. It can take calls. It has a 2.5mm balance jack. That's a great feature for these new up-and-coming audiophile snobs who won't settle for anything less than the best! <laughs> Lastly, you can download the Fio Control app and you've got a super slick interface at your fingertips. Adjust the EQ, volume, and customize the DAC in many other ways just using your phone. The only thing I can think of that the Fly provides that the BCR doesn't is more power unbalanced. Sound-wise, the 3K sounds just as good at roughly $130 less. It's pretty astounding, actually. Yes, the red is a bit more refined. Female vocals sound a tad more fleshed out and articulate. The overall sound is a little more revealing and clear, like a cold water splash in the morning. But like I've said a thousand times in other articles and videos, you're not going to know or even care. I'm afforded the luxury of being able to determine these marginal differences because of all the gear I have at my disposal. Even so, with the 3K you'll mostly want to stick to lower impedance, higher sensitivity cans like the Philips SHP 9500 and 9600, the Cost KPH30i, the Audio-Technica ATH M50X, etc, etc. Even with the cost at a somewhat higher 60 ohm impedance, you'll notice yourself pushing the volume more so than you would with something in a 32 ohm ballpark. With the 9600, I'm at 28 out of 32. This can be seen on the app, quite clearly. The 3K pushes 25 milliwatts at 32 ohm and balances 78 milliwatts at the same impedance. For comparison's sake, the BTR5 provides 80 milliwatts at 32 ohm and 220 milliwatts balanced. For that, you'll have to spend an extra 30 to 40 dollars. Even for people who don't utilize a 2.5 mil jack, the 3K is still a tremendous value and will work with a plethora of different headphones and IEMs. With a balanced cable, what more could you ever ask for at a measly $70? It's a snap purchase if I've ever heard one. Do keep in mind these prices are subject to change at a moment's notice. There are many products that I've come across in my time demoing audiophile gear. There aren't many that I could see myself owning or using for long periods of time. The 3K happens to be an amp deck that will get a ton of use from me outside of my studio, and for that it's invaluable. In fact, the only thing that I could think of during my time using it was, man, this thing packaged with a KPH30i would make a fantastic Christmas gift for my friends and family. People who don't really care about hard to drive audiophile headphones. Those looking for an incredible overall package and value. It's just a match made in heaven, really. For less than $100, or right around $100, you've got a pretty insane setup that rivals a lot of higher priced gear. Please though, do not buy this unit if you plan to power more demanding headphones. For that, look at the BTR5. So what are you waiting for? Click on over to my store and check out some of my idea lists. I'll have this BTR3K and KPH30i linked there as well. Well that's about it for today my friend. Leave me some love in the comments, don't forget to subscribe for more great content like this, and turn on bell notifications while you're at it, yeah? If you really like what I do here and you want to support the channel in a more personal way, hit that Patreon link down below and check out all the value I have to offer you. Last but not least, don't forget to ask me about my grandchildren, don't feed the troll, and most importantly, don't ever give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, check, 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 Review brought to you by Stu, here's the coda I'm nasty on the mic, call me warm soda Chopped up this beat real fine like cold produce Steady in my veggies so I can focus On my David Copperfield, y'all hocus pocus A little loopy when I wrote this, esoteric dopeness Cultivating the will of a soldier Fighting through the pain like Dooku I told ya, sold you on my style Snapping on cats like Private Pile I get semi-wild every once in a while 911 on the dial Alone at the top with no rival Dark is my world without a bible Without God's love there's no survival So my mindset is tribal Yeah, my mindset is tribal Yeah, yeah my mindset is tribal Hey, Doug. <laughs> Welcome.
Welcome back. Uh, hi, Skeet. What's up? Just wanted to see if you made it back in one piece. Cool dress. It's not a dress. I just don't... Uh, I don't feel well. Whoa, man, calm down. How come you're so jittery? Can't you tell? Uh-uh. Whew. I thought maybe I looked a little different. No, you look just the same. Only fat. Hey, 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 hey. 